peace, nurture, it's your nurturers. That's goddesses and gods, for those who don't know. It's your nurture brother or god brother, Andre. It's 360. Just want to say what's up to y'all, see how y'all doing today. I got a message I want to bring to y'all about education and liberation. You know what I mean? The proper education um, and liberation in, in a way that the proper education and how it will lead to true liberation. First of all, true education um, starts at the home. It doesn't start in, in, in what you're being taught out here in these schools and, and the curriculum that they put into these schools and society. This stuff that they're teaching when you need in these schools, 90% of it is to how to function and, and operate in the matrix that they have created, that they have established, you know what I mean? And the falsehoods uh, that they are teaching you is what, keep, is, is what is keeping us from tapping into the power that we have within ourselves, you know what I'm saying? So when you're taught to function in somebody else's establishment that they established off of, off of slavery, off of wars and, 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 and stolen land and stolen people, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> and stolen knowledge, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you, you, you're not being taught the truth. You're not being um, taught what's gonna really empower you outside of their establishment, you know what I'm saying? We wanna exist in a state of uh, lib of liberation. We wanna be liberated mentally, physically, and spiritually, you know what I mean? And that starts with our education. So, um, you know, it, I felt it was important for me to come to y'all and talk to y'all today about education and liberation, true education, and it starts at home, tuning in. When I say home, I'm talking about within. You know what I mean? The stuff that's passed down from your ancestors, from your elders, you know what I mean? People who look out for your best interests. You know what I mean? As above, so below. Just like we got people down here, our elders and, and family bloodline, physical bloodline, um, looking out for us. We have ancestors as above, so below. We have ancestors um, up in, uh, in the spirit realm who look out for our best interests and are always sending us messages and, um, and, and, and information. You know what I mean? But if we aren't tuned in, we aren't going to hear those messages. You know what I mean? We ain't going to receive that, that those messages nor that information. So it's, a, it's very important that we learn how to tune in, you know what I mean? And that starts with, um, you know, getting the right um, knowledge, the right truths, you know what I mean? Which will, which will lay the, found or the foundation and the groundwork for you to know how to tune in properly to the ancestors who are going to give you that good information, that right information. Like I said before, you know what I mean? Just as, as above, so below. Just like you have people down here in the physical realm, like your uncles, aunts, your mothers, your fathers, and, and elders in your family who looked out for you and gave you good information. As above, so below, you have ancestors in the spiritual realm who look out for you and send you information and data, you know what I mean? And, and messages all the time, but we need to tune in and tap into that. Now, I'm not here to sugarcoat um, the truth or water down any right knowledge, you know what I mean? Uh, to appease someone um, else's uneasiness concerning these truths. You know what I mean? I'm not here to sugarcoat it. I'm gonna give it to you straw, straight raw and, 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 and how it is. You know what I mean? Nor am I here to be stiff and, and not enjoy my life uh, walking and living in right knowledge because people wanna place, place brackets and boundaries around how they think I should live walk and talk and be on a daily basis according to their limited oneness with balance of being a human being at the same time being spiritually attuned. You know what I'm saying? With the ancestors, with the source and the right knowledge concerning our people and our story of our past during this physical journey and experiences and experience of existence that we are in. You know what I mean? So I'm not here to be stiff. You know what I mean? Just because I'm spiritually attuned and awake, you know what I mean? Don't mean I can't enjoy my life. You got to enjoy your life out here. Go out there, play basketball, do what you like. Listen to music. It carries a, a, a organic vibration, a natural vibration. You know what I'm saying? They came from the instruments of the earth that were made from the earth, just like you were made from the earth. It carries an energy. You know what I mean? And that energy signature, you know, it, it, it moves you. We are the most spiritually attuned beings because we are music in, 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 the, in the physical flesh as well. We are conscious energy that, that moves on the frequency of wave. You know what I'm saying? A resonance. So um, enjoy yourself. Enjoy, enjoy what makes you happy. Spend time with loved ones, stuff like that. Have fun. Laugh. It's okay to laugh. People think just because you were tuned and you're awakened, you can't laugh. You know what I mean? And make fun of things that go on in real everyday life. So don't be stiff. Enjoy yourself, you know what I'm saying? Now, although that we know that with a certain level and degree of right knowledge, along with oneness with the source and ancient, and, and as well as our recent ancestors, um, there also comes an obligation um, with that certain level and degree of right knowledge. There also comes an obligation and a responsibility to share that right knowledge and information with those who are ready for it. 
to pass it on to your kids as well as your nephews and nieces and your family members and the young ones in the neighborhood as well that you live in so that you can raise the collective consciousness of not only your immediate household but of the environment and the community that you live in because your kids got to go out here in this community your kids got to live in the society as well so the community that you that, that you live in you are responsible for we got to raise the collective consciousness consciousness of our environment as well as in, in, inside of our household okay what you do and what you don't do has a direct impact on your present reality and situation as well as your immediate and short-term future you know what i'm saying i'm gonna repeat that what you're doing what you don't do has a direct impact on your present reality and situation as well as your immediate short-term future now on the other hand a prolonged consistency of what you do and don't do has a direct impact on your long-term future reality as well as those of possible generations following you such as your kids and your grandkids because what you do you know what i'm saying your kids see that behavior and, and they mimic your behavior and your, your lifestyle they mimic those attitudes those perceptions concerning their reality and the world surrounding them and then that becomes part of them of the major psychological tools that comes into 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 shape their personality you know what I mean, so a prolonged consistency of what you do and what you don't do um, has a direct impact on your long-term future and reality. You know what I mean? It's like smoking cigarettes. If you smoke cigarettes for two days, you know what I mean? It's going to cause a little damage, but it's not going to cause as much as damage as, as if you smoke cigarettes for 20 years. You know what I mean? What you do for a prolonged period of time has a prolonged effect. It causes more damage, not just to your personal being, but to those who are watching you and that are around you. You know what I'm saying? Because it carries a vibration. You know cigarettes bring death. You know it brings cancer and stuff like that. You know what I mean? You know, living an unhealthy lifestyle, uneaten for a prolonged period of time, is going to have a negative impact on your body. You know what I'm saying? And you're going to walk with that negative energy signature as well. You know what I mean? So, um, back to what I was saying. Then that stuff, that same stuff that you, you know, that your kids are watching you, that culture is then passed down to their kids and so on and so on. Once your kids pick it up, they pass it on as well. They think this is this is the norm. This is how it's supposed to be. You gotta be real careful because this can become a cycle. And depending on the reality of the fruit that comes from those particular cycles, you know what I mean, determine on whether uh, or not it is a negative fruit. You know what I mean, because it came from a negative or a positive cycle. You know what I'm saying? And some cycles must be reinstated and brought back into our everyday culture, our everyday lives, from the household to wherever we go in our present act. While on the other hand, other cycles gotta be broken. We gotta break some of these cycles, y'all. You know what I mean? They must be broken. Because they had the tendencies to produce uh, generational curses. You know what I mean? He passed down. Um, bad things um, when we don't break when we, when we don't break these negative cycles of abuse, of adultery of, of, of you know what I mean just mental um, mental abuse, everything ain't physical abuse, sometimes you can mentally abuse people you know what I'm saying, and, and we and, and sickness and stuff like that, and poor eating habits we pass down general curses you know what I mean, I mean generational curses like diabetes and stuff like that because of our poor eating habits, what you do affects, you know what I mean, people coming up after you, you know what I mean um, but even these, these curses can be broken with a high enough vibration of love, right knowledge, balance, diet, and the application of them all in your reality. I'm going to repeat that. Even these generational curses that were passed down to you can be broken with the, uh, with the high enough vibration of love, right knowledge, balance, and the proper application of them all in your reality, including diet. You know what I'm saying? It's up to us. Now, as I stated earlier, along with right knowledge and being attuned with the oneness with the ancestors and the source comes a responsibility. You know what I mean? And along with that responsibility also comes the many burdens of walking that path of fulfilling your purpose in life. There are very many moments uh, of loneliness while you're on this path. Let me just keep it real with you. The reality is separating yourself from those not on your path include, includes good friends at times. People you know, you've know known for years, but they still doing the same stuff and you trying to uh, elevate and do different things and do better things, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's family members and some of them will naturally um, distance, them, distance themselves from you, you know what I'm saying? Because of the fact that your perception has evolved or changed in their eyes, you know what I'm saying? And so your desires, goals, and lifestyle are now also very much different um, than theirs as well because of this. 
you will find that on this path not many people can relate to you. This is just a reality, okay? They can't relate to you on the level of depth that you now operate, function, and exist on. And while you are looking for constant elevation mentally and spiritually to bring all those around you up as well, they are content with staying the same in their current state. And oftentimes that current state is a mental grave and a spiritually low vibration state of existence. So the path is lonely. You know what I mean? Because you feel and think deeper than most. But there are also many rewards, such as you vibrate higher. Chill for a minute, please. You experience more consistent moments of fulfillment, wonder, and satisfaction concerning the downloads of right information, spiritual enlightenment, and the higher frequency of vibration that raises you to the existence and reality that you are now operating on. You get to meet new friends and spiritual uh, soul family members as you go further along in your journey and you form alliances with some of these people and eternal bonds with some of these good beings of energy slash your soul family. You know what I mean? In human form. During journey, during your journey of living in this and, and fulfilling your purpose in this existence, that's some of the rewards that you will get. You get to exercise the inherent power that comes with right knowledge of your true higher selves and your oneness with the source because right knowledge is power due to the proper application, as I said before, of it in your life and consistent daily culture, which gives you the keys to open the doors and access the power that was always in you all along anyway. Once exposed to this power of right knowledge, along comes continual spiritual downloads from the infinite source within and all around you. You know what I mean? That you, uh, on, around you, that higher resonance of frequency of the existence that you are now on. You find out also with that, you also find out how to use those powers. So you got to tune in. Tuning in comes from learning how to tune in. And you got to learn right knowledge. Right knowledge starts at the home. It don't start in what you're being taught out here in, in these schools and universities. They, they call them universities, but they don't teach you nothing about the universe. You know what I'm saying? You ain't going to learn nothing out there. All you learn is a, is, is a, is a curriculum based on how to function in their, in their society and their matrix that they created off of stolen land. You know what I mean? And, and stolen people. And stolen knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Get off that hamster wheel. That's mental enslavement. They got us in mental enslavement, spiritual enslavement, and they got us in financial um, debt, which is enslavement as well. Economic enslavement or financial enslavement, however, whichever word you want to use. Learn true knowledge. Learn right knowledge. Tune back into the source. Detach. Unplug. You know what I'm saying? From the system and get what you were supposed to get within. That comes with eating right so you can get that information because even your food carries a vibration and the energy signature. You know what I mean? And if it ain't right, it's not going to be right inside your body and your body's not going to react to it the way it's supposed to. You know what I mean? This is your letter, Brother Andre, 360, wholeness, balance, perfection, and power, education, liberation, you know what I mean? And continuous elevation. I get that, y'all. Peace.